In this video, I'm going to demonstrate two balance assessments. The first being a standard assessment of balance in seated and standing, and then the second will be the Tenetti assessment tool, which gives a comparable score. Hi Lily, my name is Sophie. How are you today? I'm good, thank you. Today we're just going to assess your balance in seated and standing just to see if you've got a likelihood of falling, just to assess your overall. This is my assistant Alex and he's going to assist you today. So if you ever feel like you're going to fall, he's there to support you. So nothing to worry about. So Alex is just going to sit next to you. Do you feel comfortable? Oh, yeah. Yeah? So what I'm just going to do, and if it's all right with you, um, we're going to get you to look over your right shoulder and then look over your left shoulder. Do you feel nice and stable? Yeah. Okay, so if it's all right with you, I'm just going to tap you slightly and you want you to resist against me and Alex is there in case you feel like you're going to fall, okay? Is that all right? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm just going to push you from the side. Okay, that's the same. I'm just going to push you from this side. Feeling alright? Mm -hmm. okay, I'm just going to push you from the back. So resist against me. Okay, now I want you to reach my hand. Um, I'm just going to assess how you feel like reaching. Alex is here to support you, remember, okay? So if you could just reach your left hand towards my hand. And up. Feel all right, it's now a little bit further away. Perfect. And up. Okay, now other hand. And up. 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 And
Hello, my name is Sophie. How are you today? And what's your name? Okay, so today, Dave, we're going to do a balance assessment with you just to check your likelihood of having a fall. Is that alright? Yeah? So, for today's purposes, we're going to use the Tenetti balance score. So, I'll just run you through it quickly so you can understand what we're going to do. So, what I'm going to get you to do is stand up. And then I'm going to assess your balance and give you a, a score for that. And then I'm going to nudge you three times from the sternum. Is that all right if I touch you from the sternum? Yep. Yeah. Then I'm going to get you to close your eyes. And then you can open your eyes again and we're going to turn 360 degrees and sit back down. The second part of the test will involve you standing up and walking to the marker and back and sitting back. Does that sound all right? Okay, so I'm going to talk you through it as we go. So don't worry about that. Okay, so first of all, I'm just going to assess your sitting in a chair. I'm just looking if you're leaning, if you're sitting safe, if you're steady. Okay. And now I want you to rise from the chair. Is that possible? Perfect. Okay. I'm just going to score you on that. Okay, I'm just going to assess your balance for the first five seconds. Okay, I'm now going to nudge you on your stern three times. Are you comfortable? Are you okay? Two, three. You all right? Yeah. So now if you could just close your eyes for me. You can open them if you feel yeah. uncomfortable. Okay, you can open your eyes. And if you could turn 360 degrees for me. And then you can sit back down. Do you feel all right? The balance assessment is scored out of 16 and Gates scored out of 12 totaling a score of 28. A score less than or equal to 18 suggests the patient has a high risk of falls. A score of 19 to 23 suggests there is a moderate risk of falls and a score greater or equal to 24 means having a fall is unlikely.